Meow. Hello and welcome to Alan Wake, the DLC. I'm going to be playing, probably in episodes, I'm going to be playing the Signal DLC and the Steam has finished downloading Dungeons Each 3. Shepard Commander's playing Alan Wake. What a fucking copier, asshole. I'm going to be playing the Signal. So, this is the first DLC of Alan Wake and it's really good. Story that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. This is pretty much like an extension of the end game. A better ending for the story, but not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Special feature number one: the signal. So this is pretty much the adventures. The completion of any um, difficult undertaking. There are mixed I'll emotions. Say that in a minute. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. So this is pretty much like um what hap what's I happening to Alan Wake when he's in his in the dark like the dark place. It was familiar, but wrong somehow. Welcome to the everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. So he's pretty much like trapped in his head or the dark place and stuff. I had no idea window. why I was here or where I had been before this moment, but something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, cause it'll break your heart. As you can you see, the uh, he's trans uh, no translucent. Human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. The voices are a little distorted, so this is pretty much like the introduction to uh, favor, Bright Falls. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I'm dying, gone to hell. As you can see, it's a different song. Here's a uh, Weaver. All right. Investigate the restroom. Da da da. And now this is where it starts to change. As you can see, we're now going into the restroom. Of course, the mirror is the TV. Alan, listen to me. Go no deeper. What? Focus. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can. But it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. I love it's this fucking DLC so itself, much. But what it represents, you will need it. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. Alright. And knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. So, like I said before, he's pretty much trapped in his own mind, and the darkness is like taking control of his head. So, that's what's going on. <gasps> and how was that? As you just heard, uh, Zane needs to find a better point of contact, which is a lighthouse from the, the dream in the original, the like introduction to the uh, original game. So, but the reason why I love this is we get to go back to the city, or not the city, but the town, which is always fun. Oh. 
Oh wait, no, we have to go out the back. Balls! Oh shit, cinematic dodge. Ah, they killed me. What the fuck? I'm playing on normal, goddammit. Excellent introduction to the combat. <laughs> I get immediately destroyed. The diner had become deserted. Then the door was smashed off his hinges and Wake had to fight for his life. Alright. Fuck your lunchbox. Why oh, you motherfucker? Alright. Gameplay is pretty much the same, but they added a few new things. So I, if I, I'm not sure if they added the new things in the writer or the signal. I think both, but a few new gameplay elements that make a little bit more interesting. Alright, so we killed them. And here we are, back in Bright Falls. And the reason why I like this DLC yeah, the alarm clocks are the collectibles in the DLC here. But like I said before, the reason I like it is because you get to roam around the town a little bit again, Save! which is... Wait for me! What am I... Oh, shit. The huh. world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong there. I think I'm thinking of another section, section of the DLC. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm thinking of the right around. I don't fucking know. But I know in the DLC you go to the town again. I forgot I did this. <laughs> What an asshole, look at this asshole. Asshole. Ah! Ah! Fuck. How many enemies are there, dude? What the fuck? There's so many. Alright, he's dead. Um This guy has to die. Ah oh, shit, I'm out of batteries. Alright, you motherfucker. Ah, oh, balls! You motherfucker, let me attack. Jesus Christ. I hate the super speed motherfuckers. I just hate them so much. Ugh, more enemies! Jesus! Fuck! Fuck it, I'm running. If I can, they run faster than me. Man, I don't remember this DLC being so fucking ridiculously cheap and hard. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Alright, they don't give you enough batteries, and they don't give you enough fucking distance of me. safety. This is so fucking retarded. I don't remember it being this fucking dumb. Whatever. These trees didn't belong. Jesus Christ. It's like hardcore fucking mode. I'm playing on normal, goddammit. Investigate the light. Investigate the light. Investigate the light. I'm investigating, sirs. Motherfucker. Uh. Where am I? Alright, looks like I can't go upstairs. Can't go in there. Uh. Oh, what is this? I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically, the rounds of just a stone was thrown away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. She was startled by the phone. See, that's um actually clever things. Um, very clever in my opinion. I'll explain it in more detail in a second. Verizon. <laughs> the GPS system was working. I hadn't expected That's that. Hello? I'm trying to reach you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. 
Alright, that's actually it something, no um, sense for the well, GPS fucking more dialogue, a monologue. The satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Alright, so, like you said earlier, the dream has become lucid. And, I'm not sure if anyone knows this, but uh. lucid dreaming, um, apparently, like, it's, since you're in a dream and things aren't consistent, if you read things, like, the reading won't make sense, and s that kind of sorts. So that's kind of like a, uh... Like, that's kind of like the theme here. In the, uh, DLC. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It was the town itself. Drink that's why everything's, like, changing Cars like this, you know what I mean? Bone, like... Crush muscle. Like, it's not being consistent. That's, like, the theme of it, because he's in a dream and dreams aren't consistent but when you're normally in a dream you just don't notice it because you're dreaming but if you become lucid in a dream then you realize it's a dream because it's not consistent it's kind of complicated but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say ball sacks running 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 open the door god damn it Am I being attacked? No, I'm not. By the way, if you're just watching this and you didn't watch the original Alan Wake playthrough I did, I definitely recommend it. Just saying, gotta plug my own shit, that's what I do. Alright, um... I've only played each DLC once, actually. So I don't quite remember it too well. So. But, on PC it's free. So that's cool. PC Master Race, you know. Well, I guess it's kind of included into the price, but... 30 bucks for the entire Alan Wake uh, saga sans uh, American Nightmare. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Then again, it's not as good as the deal I had before on the Xbox, because I got the game for free, so... Then again, this is the PC version, that they do add a whole bunch of stuff, like awesome wood textures. Come on. Um... Let's go. And yet, it wasn't. Like I said before, that's the theme. Hello. I cannot keep up. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I'm trying. You must face yourself. Follow me. Uh, oh. I don't think I can go in here. Or can I? The no, GPS I can't. system was supposed to lead me to Zane. But the shifts were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. Um, let's try this. Uh oh. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Yeah, I think, if I remember correctly, the signal is a lot cooler than the writer. The writer's more of like a direct story um, thing, but the signal's actually very interesting gameplay mechanics. Then again, you could call the whole game direct story if you want. Oh, cinematic dodge. Gotta be a professional at that to win the game. Unlike me, I am not a professional at pressing LB at the right time. Motherfucker. Yeah, this game throws like seven enemies at once, and it's kind of ridiculous. Balls. Park entrance. Thank you very much for explaining that to me. Appreciate it. Oh, 
tools do want? Oh, cinematic dodge. Alright, I'm getting to the light. Fuck the tools. God damn it! No! Fuck! Ugh, you can't, like, face the enemies because they throw too many at you. And I just want to speed run to the other side. Yeah, I remember having a lot of trouble with this DLC just because of the difficulty spike they throw at you. It's ridiculous. Fuck! Gigabuster.exe is online. Oh shit, things are about to get serious. Motherfucker! Ugh. Everything felt erratic. I hate having to go through this stupid fucking for a second here. It's bullshit. Motherfuck. Cinematic dodge. There we go, I made it this time, most certainly. Yeah. I'm gonna grab those tools. I wanna see what's over there. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Son of a cunt. Oh shit! They just spawn there? What the fuck? Motherfucker. Should be like one or two dudes left. Out of ammo. Good thing there's ammo right here. And a bunch of other assorted goodness. 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 Shotgun ammo. That's good. Lithium batteries. All right. You're gonna want to get those little pickups there. That's why I went through all that trouble to get them. But like I said before, this game does throw a whole shitload of enemies at you. And the DLC at least. And yes. Alan. Where are you? Look, I I'm trying to follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. Uh oh, it's a shift. I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous, but I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going. Like I said, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six enemies. They expect me to fight six enemies in this small little area. The fuck. That's all I got to say. Holy shit. The fuck. Hardcore mode, most certainly. Jesus Christ. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. That's another cool aspect. You get the uh look at memories from what happened in the areas. Which is always nice. Like I said before, this DLC is very well designed. I actually really like it. I really like the uh the way that they did it 
and stuff. Alright, let's go. The playground waits the memories of the wonder years and the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. Oh shit. Run! Alrighty. The key? Oh shit. Motherfucking motherfucker, motherfucking motherfucker. Holy shit. Fire! Fire! Oh shit. Awesome. I did it! I fucking- oh, nope, I didn't do it. I did it! No! Not gonna waste the battery. I told him to get it fixed. Bust the door down. Wait, I got the door open. Run for it. Run for it. Well, let me pause real quick. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. What's this? Shitload of ammo. It's always appreciated. Okay. I'll uh I'll keep the revolver out. The world was it was changing, twisting out of control. It was too big on the inside. He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was moving in there. Kick! He was Falcon watching. kick! Find the exit. Again. Yep. Not again. The shifts were getting more oh, severe. Oh fuck! I remember this I wasn't part. Sure if the place got bigger, I would have to find my way out of here on my own. I remember what those things are for. I think. Yeah! So that stuff. I think you have to open them all up or something. No, I'm not entirely sure. Like I said before, I don't like this place just because I remember it being hard as fuck. <gasps> fuck you, asshole. You know what? Fuck you. The ultimate middle finger in the asshole is the flare gun. In this game, at least. And to the enemies, I guess. I don't know. Fuck you, asshole. What I'm trying to say. Alright. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck you. Oh shit. Yeah! That was my excite voice.
Alright, I'm just gonna go to the end. I thought you had to blast them all open, but it, it, I'm just gonna... Fuck it. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Alright, looks like I was completely wrong, which is always nice. I enjoy being completely wrong. Alright. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> so he left me a page. He was trying to help me. Mid-air pickup. Oh shit. Hey, bestseller! Looking good! I like this you, part. You, you're not real. So shit, what gave you away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination. It's like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al! <laughs> okay. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS... The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. So, anywho, I'm here to help you out, pal. The thing is, you need to get a grip, all right? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. Haha. <laughs> I don't think you're annoying. Ow, baby, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages, he's like the expert. Alrighty. So this part's pretty cool. I like how Barry helps us out. Anyway, if this is insane, and it's all from your mind, what's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter out. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. Can't lie to yourself, know what I'm saying? I must be a sucker for punishment. <laughs> you? No, really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alrighty. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Yeah, that'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world, or... Maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Barry. Dude, we're fun. Woo! Mama! Hey, how? I guess the pen is mightier right, than... If you complete that sentence, you're fired. Mightier than the sword? You're fired. Aww. Uh-huh. Why did you fire him? Now we have to fight bad guys again. I don't like bad guys. They're bad. They're really mean and dirty and gross. They're so freaking gross. They're like the grossest things in the world. Man, look at all this shit. And they say guns don't grow on trees. Fucking killing floor trader. Fuck you. Alright, this is definitely a flare gun part. Fuck it. Fuck it! That didn't kill one, that's kinda of bullshitty, but... Rage the sawmill. Oh, you motherfucker. Fireworks!
Also, these are the new gameplay elements I talked about earlier. And they throw in these like things you can use to help you out. Um, where did that land? Fuck. There we go. Um, next checkpoint I'm going to cut the video, so... Prepare yourself! Oh, motherfucker. Ball sack. There we go. All right, let me get the tools now. Thank you very much. Dude, this shit's bouncing all over the place. All right. Reach the sawmill. Revolver ammo. Item limit. Reached. Okay. Da 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 Motherfucking asshole. Stupid cunt. Bam. I have max batteries. Not anymore. Oh fuck, now I do again. Bag on ammunition. <laughs> Stupid asshole. What was this? Did I get here? Oh. A box that is trying to kill me. Yay. Yay! Alright, checkpoint reached. Uh, so, tune in for the signal part two. I don't know how long uh, the D DLC would be. Maybe like an hour, two hours, three hours. I d honestly don't remember. But I'll see you later in part two.